Hi there, collectors. So I went to Hobby Lobby this weekend and I got myself mostly uh, scrap paper and felt. They were having a sale, so I stocked up. Now, initially, I went there uh, wanting to go and get some of the charms that I had seen that were on sale the week prior when I was visiting family in Muskogee. I just didn't uh, get those at the time. But when we had driven down, um, we still had time, but my husband was a little tired and everything from it. He's like, we'll go on Saturday. When we get there, they've changed what's on sale, and I was like, you should have came here on Monday. But that's fine. Um, I'm just going to wait till those items are back uh, on sale again, or that I just have more money to be able to spend. So, there were some things I did pick up that uh, was on sale, and it was by um, um, Blank Slate, okay? So, this is a pack of real miniature uh, starfish, and they are collected and, you know, dehydrated and, I guess, cleaned, but... I'll pick up uh, one of the bigger ones here. It's actually two of them. Uh, they're real and they are fragile, but they are awesome. I mean, you can get shells, but I mean, I'm living in Oklahoma. It's not like I can just go to the ocean and get starfish. So I got those. Oh, I dropped it. It's okay. It's contained. All right. Also, this I haven't opened yet because, um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but these are tiny 2mm uh, acrylic stones, and then it's all in a container um, separated by color, and they, they even have black, and they have uh, white or silver, and it's a rainbow effect and everything. This was half off, so it was $3, and I love it. I'm definitely trying to conjure up what I want to do. Um, the third charm I got, I already put on a doll because I pretty much bought it for her. If you see, she's wearing this, uh, glass bottle here. It's round, and it's tied with a string, and I already tied it around her waist, but it can be easily undone. And I just removed the cork, and I can put glitter and small beads in there, which um, I intend to do. But once I saw this, and it came like this with the string, I immediately thought of my sorceress here that I was like, oh, yes, she definitely needs some sort of, like, alchemist uh, jar so she can have access to whatever um, element she's going to be using. And I think I'm, I was already in the mindset of having her be a water-based sorceress. So blue glitter and some things like that uh, should be good to go. So that's it for the charms and the paper. Um, when we went to Claire's, my daughter, she went nuts. She got to pick everything. Um, I, I picked two items. I got a black stretchy collar like they did from the 90s. Um, it was so good to have one of those back because I actually used to have several of them when I was younger. And uh, I don't have any more, but I'm not exactly comfortable with uh, real uh, like thicker chokers, especially ones that like you know snap in the back or have a buckle. And um, so wearing the stretchy ones after a while, you just kind of forget you're wearing them. Um, I did pick out a little keychain set for myself. It's a best friends forever. So there's three parts. Well, my daughter had to have one of them. So I only have these two. She took the pink one. So I get the best and I get the forever. She has the one with the star that says friends. I just want these because, I don't know, when I was younger, you could find animal keychains like crazy. And they make great toys for dolls and 
I'm trying to gather up enough stuff to do a unicorn uh, themed room and you know in one of the dollhouse rooms and so I was like oh yeah you gotta have some of these they remind me of Lisa Frank without it being the actual Lisa Frank one well she just had to have that one and kind of lost the battle on that but she got herself a unicorn necklace and a charm bracelet and she got little panda uh, clip-on earrings because her ears aren't pierced and you know for five-year-old she's going nuts all right so I uh, picked up some felt and the first ones are going to be animal prints because you never know when you're gonna want a rug or something that is animal print the next ones are cute unicorn whimsical ones rainbows I did contemplate picking up uh, a double of uh, the first unicorn one on the purple but I was like let's just get one of each and see what we're gonna do with it first and then we'll decide if we actually need to go and buy more all right now the rest is paper and um, they were having a special sale where you could get four for a dollar on uh, certain price ones, but this one was not. This one was just the regular two dollars. So I only picked up the one of that. And this was in the clearance area, and there was only this one, which is why I picked up that other felt so it could match this unicorn floaties and popsicles. My daughter picked out these two unicorns and rainbows. All right, now I picked out Galaxy. Got this really pretty pink and mint and blue and purple, and then we got a darker one. Four four dollars, so I got two of each. I picked up two of this type of scales and two of this, which could translate to ocean or geode stone or maybe a close-up of a planet that's just how cool and swirly it is um, it just says m m turquoise marble all right now this one I picked up four of each and this is called pastel watercolors and this would make an excellent background Then I picked up four of these. This goes clouds and turquoise sky. And they look good pretty much in any direction. All right. Picked up four of the whitewashed fence. These are great for floors. Picked up four of the chevron wood plank picked up four of the brick wall why was i expecting it to be named anything else i don't know <laughs> and i picked up four of the white brick my froggy stuff likes to use this one a lot and then i definitely had to get four of the mermaid scales and now that I have this I'm thinking I might even do a mermaid themed room because of my uh, recent acquirement of some mermaid ish items I got some mermaid fabric I have that little mermaid flag from the Dollar Tree got that uh, little mermaid chest as well and so you know you just throw in a a little soon soon of flounder and you get some coral and starfish in the room boom mermaid themed so I'm more kind of got two projects in mind but I'm not going to be actually putting them uh, into craft yet because I really need to start more or less packing up um, the dolls and the crafts and everything so that way um, we can be ready to move because um, I know I've talked about it for a while, but now it's actually going to be, we are going to move.
this year, uh, in just a couple of months, we just need to kind of stop going to the store and buying cool stuff <laughs> and put the money aside and uh, then talk to the realtor. So I'm going to wait till I get um, into the new house, get that set situated up and everything. And um, let's see, um, that day we um, went to the mall. They were having a Disney Descendants 3 uh, premiere and it was filled with some fun activities for the kids. And so, um, some of the things that she got, she got a free tattoo, free stickers. You can see she's already taken one to go play with it. Uh, this is just a booklet, just kind of talking about, yeah, the premiere party and, um, they, they were talking about, a, you get to learn the new song. <clears throat> and then the rest was kind of like promotional stuff to go to the Disney store. Uh, we got this um, pencil bag. And it's um, that breathable material where they, they make the recycled bags out of. You could probably color on this with markers. And then they had coloring sheets and uh, crossword puzzles. They had little juice boxes and snacks and a magician and everything. It was actually kind of nice. We sat there, um, my daughter watching the, the show and everything. We're both coloring and whatnot. And so my husband's just walking around with his phone, just, you know. But, um, yeah, we uh, we went to the mall for that. And so we went to the near by uh, Hobby Lobby, but it was over on the other side of our town. So it was a Hobby Lobby I had not been to, but I don't think it was really any different from the one that is closer by, most of the time they are pretty well all stocked. It's just depending on, I guess, what you'll find in the clearance really is the main difference of the stores. And uh, let's see, after we left the mall, uh, she had to go to the bathroom, so we hopped right over to the other uh, parking lot to Walmart. And so that was a good day. She did not have an accident. So we, of course, let her have um, a, a daddy-daughter day on Sunday. They went to the park. He was playing Pokemon Go. They stumbled upon somebody's birthday party. She comes home with part of their birthday cake. I'm, like, laying in bed. They come home. It was really hot. And I'm just like, cake? A birthday cake? I sent you to the park. You come home with cake? But he swung by Brahms and bought ice cream to go with the cake. I'm just like, okay, all right, cool, whatever. <laughs> Not complaining there. So we're just trying to make do with the summer heat. We're, uh, but it, this was um, probably one of my last um, like big hauls. Um, he and I were talking about the money and all that. And so it's like I'm probably only going to get like a $20, maybe 30 um, like allowance to do whatever I want with because um, we just need to put more back into the savings. We kind of treated ourselves, and now we got to crack down and get serious. But thank you guys for staying tuned with me as I do show you guys some of the things that um, I do, you know, buy and collect and whatnot. And, you know, I'm not YouTube famous. That's okay. I'm not trying to be. All right. Bye.